Now, when it comes to Matt Rule's offenses, it's been pretty piss poor. You think about last year, they were 30th in the NFL. This year, they're down at the bottom again. Baker Mayfield is placed as the 32nd, if not worst, quarterback in the league. So that just goes into this topic. Is Matt Rule the QB killer? Hmm. Well, he's killed the morale of this football team, organization, and fan base. (laughs) We could definitely say that. But let's take a dive, a deeper look into the quarterbacks that have played under Matt Rule and how successful they've been. So let's look at Teddy Bridgewater, P.J. Walker. First two quarterbacks to play under Matt Rule in his first year, which was what it looks like to be the best offense that we've had in the Matt Rule era. Let's take a look, man. Teddy Bridgewater, he played 15 games, was 4-11, and 11, um, completed almost 70% of his passes, had 15 touchdowns to 11 interceptions, which 15 was his career high. Um, so that was positive. He had a quarterback rating of 56, QBR rating of 56.8, sacks 31 times. We can look at P.J. Walker. He played one game. He went 1-0. I'm not going to go through all his stats because you see him there. But the one thing that sticks out to me with P.J. Walker is the quarter QBR. And that is 9.6 on the scale from 0 to 100. Y'all seen Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless love bringing that up, doesn't he? <laughs> but, yeah, let's take a look at the next year, man. Um, Teddy Bridgewater had a good season here. Of all the quarterbacks we're going to take a look at, he's had the best. So, Hindsight 2020, hindsight 2020, Mm -hmm. maybe another video for that. Let's keep it moving. All right, you got Sam Darnold. You know, he completed, uh, all of these quarterbacks completed less than 60% of their passes. They all had more interceptions than touchdowns in this year. And look at their QBR. Sam Darnold had the best at 33.2, which is bad. Cam Newton had 25.5, which is worse. And 19.3 P.J. Walker, which is the worst. Um, so it's bad. It's extremely bad QB play. And we started in year one. Teddy was decent. He was 59. Had, you know, more touchdowns and interception, But it wasn't mind-blowing. And then the rest of the quarterbacks are at this level. So then that goes on to say, hmm, what about this year? Where do we stand this year? Well, we got Baker Mayfield, played only two games, only two, has completed less than 60% of his passes. He's completed less than 55% of his passes. Good thing is he has a better touchdown to turnover ratio than the other quarterbacks last year. So that's one positive thing. But look at the QBR, 23.7, which is still bad. 23.7 on a scale from 0 to 100. Matt Rule is not getting great play from the quarterbacks because he appears to be the quarterback killer it can't just be every single one of them they have one of their worst career seasons under the Matt Rule era it's not like this offense is that horrendous is the offensive line great no has it been better and gave them opportunities yes it's not the worst in the NFL I must say that they got skill positions all of that so what is the common denominator and I've been on it been on it hard, Matt Rule train. But Matt Rule is the QB killer. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, man. This is your boy Mike Briggs, one of the co-hosts of the NFC South versus the NFL. Much love, keep pounding. We gotta ride this thing out, y'all. We gotta ride it out. But he is a quarterback killer.